summer travel season is already heating up, and of course, you want to find the best deals available. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here to show us how the Hopper app can actually help you do some comparison shopping for the best airfares and find out the best time to buy. Because we always hear, is it Tuesday? Is it Saturday? It seems to change. And one week it's one thing and one week it's the next. So it does change. <laughs> it does change. It okay. does change. So what Hopper is, this is actually a pretty new app. It just came out in January and it literally looks at the data from billions of flights that have gone on and it predicts when it is the best time to save money when flying. So Sounds best price good to us. Yeah, yeah, can't can't complain about that. So set where your departure is and I put here in Charlotte and then you say where you want to go. And so I'm gonna say New York, okay? And it says, hey, well Charlotte to New York City, there's good deals for nonstop flights that start around two twenty five. So it's trying to it's educating you, okay? So instead of you having to go to a bunch of different airlines and say, hey, what's the price options are? It's telling you this is a good this is where good prices start. And then it says, hey, even if flights with stops, they average about twenty five dollars more. So that's good to know. Okay. Choose your travel date, you scroll down and it kind of gives you this is a grid. It doesn't mean that that's the price on that date, but it's saying you saying to you, this is where lower prices are in these ranges and higher prices late. So if you're flexible. If you're flexible. And you can kind of look at this and say, okay, the beginning of the month versus the end of the month, maybe we'll yeah. look to ask off for that time from work first. That's right. Okay. Yep. yep. Or maybe you're just going for a weekend. Who knows? You know, okay. maybe you just want to check it out on a weekend. But let's pick some dates. And I'm just guessing here. And so I'm just going to go to July and I'm going to say, hey, let's try July um, 16th through 21st. Okay. And I don't know what we're getting, but I'm going to say select these dates. And Hopper goes out and works oh, his magic. Oh, cute, the little <laughs> Hopper bunny. <laughs> and goes and looks and says, hey, the lowest available price for this is right now. Now, I didn't know I was going to get that. I, I just happened Francie, to. Francie, we got to book this. I know, we got to book it now. 209 is <laughs> cheap. 209 is really cheap. So it says, hey, you know, book it now. Now, I just happened to guess that. And, uh, but it would say, hey, don't book it. It's likely to fall. And it'll tell you that it's going to probably fall in the next couple of weeks. Wow. Or to book it before a certain date because it's likely going to go up based on price history. So it gives you all of that advice. Um, you could wait for a better price, but it's, hey, it's only $9 a savings. So, hey, maybe we should go ahead and book it. But this is a great feature right here. Watch this trip. So if you're not sure if you want to go or you want to see if you can get it lower, you know, it could be hundreds of dollars lower. Watch this trip and you'll get notifications when okay. that drops. So it's really, really great. Price prediction tells you, hey, prices will vary over the next six weeks, staying around $200 or above, but prices are expected to climb at least $80 after June. Okay. So it's giving you all kinds of intelligence. So that's the predictions, and then it can give you some tips. Now, we probably won't get much tips, given that I got a pretty good price on that particular flight, but Hopper goes out and checks to say, hey, is there anything that you could do that would make this drop even further? So it might tell you um, to change your travel dates. It might tell you to try a different airport or try a different departure airport. And it will okay. actually even give you a map and say, hey, if you drive 30 miles, you can save, you know, $50. Or the difference of going from Asheville versus going from Charlotte, maybe. Absolutely. Or, or GSP. Or GSP, any of those. And then if you want to book a flight, you can say, hey, go ahead and show me the flights. I'm interested in this. And you can select your flights that you want. And I, they say, hey, this is a good flight. You chose a good one. Okay, this is nonstop. It's the shortest and the cheapest. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then if I choose one that's not, it's going to warn me and say, hey, this is a bad choice. Oh, wow. Try a different option so you can get a lower price. You can book through here. It, um, it actually, you don't buy the tickets on Hopper. What it does is it tells you where those prices are from. Travelocity, so travel need the airline directly. Exactly. Okay. And so you actually are booking through the airline rather than through Hopper. So Hopper is gathering all this data. It is a free app. It is free, it too. It is free. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it is free, and so it gives you some great direction and saves you a lot of time searching for those great prices. Love it. Independent e-business consultant, Francie Black, thanks so much for showing us yep, that app. You're welcome. And if you want to learn more about the app she showcased today, go to WLOS.com, click on Tech Time. That's where you can also sign up for her e-newsletter, all kinds of interesting things. Yep. You have something totally different every week I here, do, which I is do. a nice array, something yeah. for everybody. And I do have the downloads at iPad Wisdom, so you can download it directly from there. Okay, perfect.